Hi guys, it's Lamar back at you with Bad Faces. I'm here for another tutorial. Um, this is the last one of today's series. I'm going to try to get a bunch of them done and then that way I can keep them coming at you. Um, I did want to do another boy design for today. I've done a lot of girl designs. Um, so this time, another popular one, a snake. Um, that is super popular and you can totally tweak this to make it a whole lot faster depending on your line. So um, I'm actually loading up my favorite, a 3 fourths inch flat brush, and I just am double loading it with a, a lime green and a dark green. So I'm going to start with the head, and we'll do the head on this side. And for that, I create one loop down, another loop, well I guess not down, two loops, connect them, lay my brush flat, and give it a little another little loop. There we go. I come from the back side, keep my lime green on the belly portion, and lay it down, give a little twist, and come into the hairline. I come out the other side. Sometimes I go on the forehead if they have a big forehead, but most little boys have a hairy little forehead, so this works just well and my load is a little light there so just that's okay go back over it there we go and I'm gonna round out his little eyes here and you'll see how I create those in just a second alright so that's the basis at this point I would ask if the boys want glitter you'd be surprised how many say yes um, I'm gonna clean up this point just a tick have that come into a nice fine point. There we go. Then that a little bit. Nice. All right. And now I'm going to add a little bit of scale work. Parents like this. It's a good wow factor for whatever. If you do not stencils, invest in them. I tell you, they're like definitely worth it. And I just try to keep the stenciling towards the belly. So on that lighter green portion, that's going to be your belly. I mean, and if I'm in a hurry, I just slap it on top of the whole design, honestly. It's all impressive. Nobody cares. Looks good. I got a little, I kind of messed up here, so add a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Looking pretty good. All right. Now, well, we're going to go in and add in our eyeballs. So we're going to bring in two teardrops and I give him little fangs, two little teardrops out and that's it for the part. We're going to let that dry and start outlining. Okay, so this is just some wolf black number four round. This is what I like to outline with. I start here in the center of the eye, I flick up, and then I grab it from the bottom and pull in. Do the other thing from the other side, same thing, pull in, and then just outline what we've already created. Give him two little flicks up, create his nostrils, and two little flicks down to line his little um, things. The eyes are still wet, I can fill it, so I'm going to skip over to the body and start lining that. I don't like to do a solid outline, kind of just flick it in. That will help give your snake some texture. And for this hairline part, it's so close to the hairline, honestly you don't even have to do that great of an outline there. Coming in from this side here. down okay come to a point I usually I mean I know he has these um, like cobra like eyes but I still give him a rattler boys just like that I mean they don't care it's a snake so there you go he got the little rattler at the end eyes are pretty dry now so I'm gonna come back over the top 
and give it a little flick in, rounding that corner. That was a little heavy handed. There we go. And then I just draw in two triangles. There we go. Just like that. All right. Now the last part is just the tongue. Simple as that. Get a little bit of Kriblin Creamy Red. I start here and I just kind of wiggle it out and then flick another line out. I take that same red and I fill in the eye. I give him a mean eye. And that is my snake. He's super duper simple. You can swoop him down on the head, have him wrap around that way. That looks cool too. Um, but this is certainly a quick and easy one um, I go to all the time on the job and it's really impressive. So I hope you can use it at your next event and that it was helpful. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.